So in this tutorial, we're gonna make sure that we use Elementor, of course, and we have Elementor Pro, and we're gonna be using Jet Engine by Crockerblock. And this is gonna allow us to create our custom post types, our taxonomies, our meta boxes, et cetera, et cetera. So the first thing we need to do is obviously install Jet Engine, and we need to create a custom post type. So I'm gonna click here where it says post types, and I'm gonna add new, and I'm gonna call this projects and the slug is just going to be project our singular name is going to be project and we can just click through we can just like what I'm doing I'm just pressing the tab here and it's just going through all of them and renaming it to whatever I've put in okay in the advanced settings we need to make sure that I mean we don't really have to mess around with anything here at all really but what we do need to do is make sure we change the menu position so I'm going to put it as maybe a five and we could change the icon I'm going to use uh, let's say one which isn't there let's just use this one and here it says supports so we want to make sure we have our title and the editor and we want to make sure we have our featured image as well So the meta fields, what would be a meta field? Let's come over here and let's scroll down. And what one of our meta fields might be is clients because this is Hu Chung and we can put that down as a client. So we'll click on new meta field and we'll just put in client. I'll press tab and that's gone to there. And you could choose what type of field this is gonna be. So this is just gonna be a text field, nothing crazy. And that's it. The next one is going to be the date. So we'll click on add new meta field and we'll type in date. And for the field type, we'll just type in date here. Here it says we could save it as a timestamp. Um, um, we can choose this for sure. We won't be um, toggle if you need to sort or query post by date we can do that it's not necessary but we'll just activate it just in case the next one is going to be country so I'm going to click here add a new meta field and I'm going to put country here okay then we've got some intro text so I'm just and that's literally what I'm going to call it I'm going to call it intro text or introduction text and here, instead of a field, we want to, instead of a text field, we want to use a, um, a what you see is what you get editor, okay? And here we've got the um, categories. So we've got software development and UI design. Um, we're not gonna do anything with that yet. Here again, we've got our, I guess, the normal text, and then we've got our main images. So let's count how many images we have. We've got one, two, three and we've got a slider so what we can do is create a section just for the images so i'm going to click on new meta and i'm going to put images and where it's got the field i'm just going to make this actually a tab okay and within this tab i'm going to create a repeater field so where it's got new meta field We'll click that and we'll just put project image and for this field we want to make this a repeater actually let's have a look this is called images let me make sure that's a capital we got images project images and we'll put project images here and then the repeater we are going to just have project image. And this would just be a media file. And that's just for this, okay? And here as well, we have a slider. So we can choose to add a new meta field and we can say, slider images 
And with the field, again, we can choose for this to be a gallery. And that's it for that area. And now we have this testimonial. So again, we're going to add a new field and we're going to call this testimonial. And this is going to be a repeater. And in this repeater, we're going to have the uh, testimonial text. We'll do a what you see is what you get editor. In fact, no, let's just do a text area for that. And the testimonial name. We've got the person's name here. And that would just be a text as well. Okay. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to move this testimonial section above here. Where's that? We have to move this out. You just fit that there actually. It should be fine. And we could just have a quick review of what we've got. Just wanna make sure everything is fine. So we have our client, field, date, country, introduction text, testimonial, and a section here for images, which would be the project images and the slider images. Okay. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, that's what we can do. Now we can click this button on the right hand side that says add post type. I'm just going to click to add that. And what you see is now we've got projects here. And if I click on add new project, we have all of our information here. So we've got the client date, the country introduction text testimonial and as you can see there's another section here called images um, the next thing we want to do is now add what we missed above here which was the taxonomy this is what uh, people would search by or this is how you would categorize the project so to create a taxonomy we go to jet engine taxonomies let's leave that and we want to add a new one called project type maybe and we want to make sure that this is for our projects okay uh, the name for one object of this taxonomy could just be type I guess and we can just click our tab button to just cycle through all of that there's an advanced setting as well. Uh, what I want to do is choose here where it says hierarchical and I want to click that. And here where it's got meta fields, what I want to do is I want to add a meta field. And what I want to add is the icon. What we'll do is we'll just name this icon. Um, And we have the object type, which is a field. And we're going to change this to an icon picker. And we're just going to leave that how it is. And now we're going to click on Add to Taxonomy. And what you'll see now is we've got all projects, Add New Project, and we have Type. So if I click on Type, and I want to put UI Design, I can just paste that in. And in the category icon, I can just choose, I think they've got like a diamond there. So I'm gonna see if a diamond shows. And there we have our diamond and I can add that as a new uh, po uh, category. We've also got software development. So I'm gonna put that one in. Now I'm not 100% sure if this works, so I'm just gonna click on edit just to see whether it's in there. So the software type is correct and UI design is correct. Great. 